Hi! I know it's been a while, so I'm so excited to come back and do January for your sign. Um, where I've been, I will, when I have some time, make a longer, more intensive video about that, if you care. But I think most of you just kind of want to know what's going on for my January. So this video is going to be a little bit longer. I had out my pendulum. I had out, like, seven or eight different decks of cards. I had out, like, even some, like, astrology dice. Um, so there's a lot in this video. And I will also uh, put somewhere on my website a little cheat sheet to help you get through the month. It's going to have your lucky days. It's going to have your unlucky days, the general theme. Um, what else does it have in it? Oh, of course your power crystal, your power color. It's going to have affirmations, which chakra you want to focus on this month, how you can spiritually evolve, blah, blah, blah. It's like the all-encompassing January. Like, get you off on the right foot right out the gate for this brand new year. So I'm so excited to do this for you and let's just get into it. I keep forgetting to mention this, but for those of you who um, don't know, if you go to my website, and there's like a link in the description box below, you can sign up to win a free reading every month. And so like you just sign up once and you're automatically in the drawing forever style. And so I just wanted to let you know. Hi, Cancer. So because I've been forgetting in a lot of videos to let um, each sign know, what is their luckiest day and their unluckiest day of the month? I'm going to start there with yours. So your luckiest day of January is the 8th, and your unluckiest day of January is the 27th. So if you were planning a big uh, gambling excursion on the 27th, maybe switch it to the 8th. Okay, so anyway, um, I'm kind of struggling with where I want to start with your reading because you have a lot of different energies kind of going on here. So I think what I'm going to do is just give you some general information um, straight out the gate and it's saying Knight of Wands. So this is the Lord of Flame and Lightning. This is kind of calling you out saying you have to be quick and confident and fiery and enthusiastic to do the things that we're about to tell you to do. <laughs> okay, so I guess I'll just get right to it. And I guess the reason why I was feeling a little bit of dread is because it seems to me like this month there are just some things that you have to reframe from the past. And it's not always an easy thing. It can make you feel a little bit um, grumpy or even crazy at times. And it's almost as though you're holding on to certain things because you're afraid that if you let them go, you're dishonoring them. So a good example would be like... Um, you know, maybe somebody close to you died, okay? And it's like, if I don't spend a certain amount of time feeling sad and remembering them um, on a daily basis, if I don't let this, like, kind of interfere with my life, then it's as though I don't actually miss them or I didn't cherish them, right? And that's, that's a fallacy. It's not good for you. Okay, so that's just one example where there could be various examples. This happens, you know, with ex-boyfriends too. It's like, oh, well, if I don't throw away, or I can't throw away these pictures because that was a part of my life. Yeah, you can. Because otherwise, how the hell are you going to move on? How would the new person feel if they're completely enamored with you and then they find them in your closet, right? Okay, so anyway... That's kind of where I wanted to start. So I'm not saying your January is going to be a shit January. It actually isn't going to be, but there are a couple challenging things going on here. So I guess where I'll go next then is, as you know, I don't do astrology. So when I was saying, you know, oh, I used pendulum, I did like a bunch of decks, I used the astrology dice, it's more to pick up on the kind of vibes or energies that you'll be experiencing this month from like an astrological perspective. Like, um... These are things that happen in astrology that are kind of the vibe for your month. So number one, we have uh, the sun, which represents like who you are in the 12th and the third house. And so the 12th house is like the house of things you can't control, 
Okay, so as I mentioned, you might feel sometimes like shit's just happening around you and you can't control it. This is that feeling of like being like kind of crazy or control or consumed by someone or something like your grief, right? Uh, for example, and then we also have it in the third house, like I said, of communication. So it's like maybe talking about these things is going to help you a little bit talking about, okay, who am I? Am I a person who just goes, oh, fuck it, these things are out of control and I'm just going to be sad forever? No, that's not who you are. I mean, that's sometimes who you are when, you know, the crab crawls into his little hermit cave, but that's not where you stay, okay? So January is an opportunity for you to do something different. It's a new year. It's a new new year, new you. <laughs> no, but same you, um, just... A happier you. There is a chance. There, like, so whatever is making you upset or stressing you out, you don't have to stay in that energy. Is essentially what I'm saying, and that'll make sense when you see like our card for the month. So, um, like our our theme of the month. So, the other thing here was Neptune, which can uh, represent like our emotional confusion. It also represents like spirituality and creativity, but it brings to light the difference between things that are real and things that are fake. Okay, totally going along with this theme here. And so this is in the fifth house. So this is about like creativity, pleasure, romance, fun, hobbies, joy. So basically they're saying like, okay, you're emotionally confused that it's okay to have fun, that it's okay to experience joy. Like it's almost as though you're punishing yourself for something and you don't need to. Whether that's your guilt, whether that's your grief, whether that's a loss, that's not who you need to be. This is not healthy for you, okay? Um, and then also we have the sun again, <laughs> but in Venus. And so this is like um, you in this energy of love and relationships and femininity, but it's showing up in that eighth house. You have the sun, who you are, and Venus, you know, this energy of love, femininity, blah, 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 um, in the house of like loss change and also sex so it could be a sexy month for some of you but the majority of you this is like okay I'm going through changes and I need to express love into these changes and understand it's okay to let things go and I need to love who I am as I go through these changes um, so whatever it is that's bummed you out that's disappointing you whatever kind of loss that you've experienced um, it's time to reframe Okay, it totally is time for you to reframe. And that's our theme for this month. Okay, we have one in a 12, right? In a 12, it's a one new beginnings. Two, that can be harmonious and beautiful. And that culminates to be a three. And this is what spirit wants you to do. This is what God, the universe, your angels want for you is to reframe things. Now, people look at the hanged man card oftentimes and they go, ooh, not good. He's like, you know, being hung by this pole. But in this case, it's different. I want you to see, like, look at him. He is hanging upside down. But it's almost as though he's relaxed in that, like he wants to. And the reason why he's different in this deck is because he's got his roots in the ground, in reality. Remember how we talked about the difference between reality and fantasy as one of your energies for this month? And then he's also got his roots, the roots are double-ended, right? It's going up into the sky, up into spirit. And so he's got his roots up here, you know, like that more... Um, existential kind of area about your spirituality, what you're about, your soul, but then also reality. And he's hanging here and he's gaining a different perspective. And he's got his hands wide open, okay? So not only is, so when we do like energy healings and stuff like that, like love pours out of your hand chakras. Um, but in his hand chakras, He's got eyes here. He's able to see from a different perspective. He's open to that. He's hanging here and he's not stressed out, okay? He seems pretty calm, doesn't he? He seems pretty relaxed. And so here he is with his eyes viewing things from a different reality, okay? The cord that is um, suspending him comes from up high. Like you are safe. There is a cord connecting you to your spirituality so you can view things on the earthly plane in a different way. And that's essentially what the theme is here for you. 
Okay. It's like, it's time to reframe. It's time to see things a little bit differently. Now, why is this so important? Because if we are going to continually live in a stressful or sad kind of um, attitude because, or a guilty kind of consciousness, it affects not only our mental health, but our bodily health. Okay. Because of that mind, body, soul connection. And so it's interesting for you that you have health as your affirmation, or I'm sorry, as your goal, you know, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. <laughs> That's what we have. We have to honor this body by, um, and take care of our soul. You know, if your body is sick, like your soul doesn't feel good either. Right. And, but the same thing is true is like, if your soul is sick, if your mental, um, viewpoints are sick, your body is also going to feel sick. Okay, so anyway, this is about the heart chakra. You see like that big lotus opening up out of the heart? Um, that's what this is about. So you're doing yourself a big loving favor and you're loving yourself if you're taking care of your body. Now the other aspect here is um, our color energy, which is bronze this month. And it says strengthening your body because bronze is like the color of armor, right? And protection and shielding. So, you know, you have to look out for your physical health this month if you are not capable or capable of doing quickly the shift that you need to to see things from a different, more loving perspective to kind of forgive yourself and um, to kind of like release these energies that you've been carrying that are stressful. You might be feeling a lot of back aches and um, actually our crystal of the month will help you kind of to align your spine if, uh, anyway, we'll get to that later. But yeah, bronze energy is um, the color. So new beginnings for that will create greater stability in times of hardship with our number here. Now with the bronze, um, this inspires, you know, strength and confidence. This bronze color, bronze um, color energy, like you can use it as a light ray kind of going through your bodies or your chakras. Um, or you can wear something that's a bronze color, like a bronze colored um, jewelry or I don't know what. But anyway... Uh, it aids in successful negotiations, and I would say successful negotiations with yourself. Like, how do I want to reframe this? You know, can I still honor or love, like, a memory or an experience, um, but then, like, let it go and move on at the same time? Absolutely, you can. Um, it helps you to trust your instincts. It helps you to flush toxic thoughts and feelings out of your body. So it's sort of like a yellow energy where um, it's like a detox. It helps you to break destructive emotional patterns. Um, that's exactly what we're talking about, okay? You're not doing yourself any favors um, until you shift your perspective. There's something that's eating a lot of you up this month and you've got to shift that okay open up your heart chakra and see it from a different lens you know see it out of these hand chakras anyway um what was I going to go to next here your affirmation is I um value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love so you might be hearing this and be like, ah, you don't know what my life is like, you dumb bitch. Like, I don't want to take this advice. Um, okay, well, let's just make an affirmation instead that you could at least value what I'm telling you, what your spirit guides are telling you. And maybe later you'll shift your perspective and you'll get on that bandwagon. And maybe you won't. But... Um, even if we are not going to follow the advice or agree with the perspectives of other people, we at least need to respect that maybe that's what's right for them. But you need to worry about what's right for you, what's right for your physical health. And so, you know, maybe another way of viewing this is perhaps there's somebody toxic in your life that you need to let go of. Maybe you need to reevaluate why you're in that relationship in the first place. Maybe you can't avoid that relationship because, you know, they're a family member or something, but maybe you can shift your perspective on like how you're going to deal with them or how you're going to assert boundaries, things like that. So anyway, um, as far as which, which chakra you'll want to be focused on this month, we get the solar plexus. And the reason why I think that this is popping up is because that's the one about, um, you know, kind of full body detox, but then it's also about your confidence. And so you need to feel confident that it's okay 
to worry about your own self, to not always put others first, because this is something that cancers do constantly, is they're always, you know, sacrificing their own health and their own well-being for the betterment of other people because they're such loving emotional beings. And they're like, shift your perspective, okay? How much do you have to give um, when you're deteriorating? So this is, it's time to do that and confidently do that. Now, they're saying like as far as spiritual hobbies go for you this month, meditation, pendulums, tarot, that kind of stuff is not where you want your focus to be. Your focus is on um, actually astrology. There might be some astrological gems out there. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't do astrology, but um, maybe you guys could leave in the comments like some really good astrologers for others to look up. Okay, now your crystal of the month is hematite, which is my favorite stone, and that's why I get so excited and smiley when I say that. This is what it looks like in raw form, okay? And then when it's polished, it looks like this. It's a very dense and heavy stone. Um, I love these little tiny ones because I like to put one like in my car, one in my wallet, one in my pocket, one above my door frame. I put them everywhere. Uh, side note, sidebar, uh, I had a client who I had given a little handful of these two and she put it, this was a couple years ago, but she put it in her wallet and then went Black Friday shopping and she lost her wallet and didn't realize it until like quite a few days later, like the 5th of December or something. And she's like, fuck, all my money's in there, all my credit cards. And she called around to a few stores that she had been to and one of them said, oh yeah, we have it here. So she goes back and she gets it. Every single penny was in there, all of her credit cards, her driver's license, blah, blah, blah. She never um, had identity theft or anything like that happen. And she swears that the reason why that worked out so well for her was because the hematite was in there. Um, I crashed my car, if you guys follow on Facebook, last year in the snow on the day that I took my hematite out of the car to detail the inside. So, just saying. <laughs> Very protective stone. Um, so anyway, this stone is actually magnetic, and so it helps to bring out your personal magnetism. Isn't that cute? But it repels negative energies of others. Like I said, it's very protective. It helps to get rid of insomnia. It helps you with restlessness. It helps with stress and anxiety. Um, it kind of gives you, like, strength, courage, vitality, stamina. Um, what else does it do? It is very grounding. So there's a lot of other things that this does, and you can look those up on my website. You can get some of these from my website as well or um, from your local crystal shop, but that's your crystal of the month, and I hope that you use it and it serves you well. Oh, I remember what I was going to tell you. So um, remember we were talking about your health and, like, maybe you get back pain because there's all this shit going on that you're not resolving because you're not shift shifting your perspective. Hematite helps with that. So you can take big ones or little ones, doesn't matter, but you put one at the base of your spine um, and one at the top of your spine, and it helps to align it. Okay, that's what I wanted to tell you. And I love you so much, and I can't wait to see you in February. Bye! Thanks so much for watching this video and getting all the way to the end of it. I really appreciate your support. If you are interested in other videos, click here. If you are interested in subscribing, go ahead and click here. Hit that notification bell so that you get alerted to when new videos come out and also when I do surprise live streams. And then if you're interested in winning a free 20-minute video uh, reading personally every month, go ahead and click right here. Mwah!